I'm sorry. She packs a hell of a punch. Turn that steel battleship into scrap metal. The other two scurried off to clean up the survivors. They want to make up for failing their mission. Let them do as they will. Or would you like to go as well? Nah. I'm gonna go think for a bit. About what? The excuse you'll be giving to Belgar? Huh. <laughs> I figured you were all mopey. But you still got some sass in you. No. Something's bugging me. I think I might head back for now. Then take Primaria with you. It may be some time before she wakes up. I get to escort the princess herself? I'm honored. Leave it to me. She looks so peaceful when she's sleeping. You'd never guess she just destroyed a battleship with her bare hands. Whoa there! And here's the knight in shining armor. You worried about the princess? Don't worry. It's no pumpkin carriage. But this baby can get her back to the ship safe and sound. Ah, well. Get comfy, boy. Suppose I can take you along for the ride. <laughs> good boy. You're so good. But me? I'm no good at all. The comet was destroyed after Cremaria lost control. The Centurion moved to their aid, but that vessel also caught fire and sank. Investigations are underway, but we're searching in a blizzard. We may not be able to recover the wreckage. I regret to inform you that, at present, both ships are unrecoverable. The mission was a failure. <sighs> I suppose I couldn't have expected the Federation's finest technology to simply fall into my lap. I can't apologize enough, Doctor. Oh, no need for dramatics. One ship still remains. And I presume you're not so incompetent as to make the same mistake twice. No, sir. And Crimeria? Exhausted. Most likely from the sheer expenditure of energy. She's sleeping in her room. It might be some time before she recovers. The strongest and weakest of the Valkyria. They called her defective. Wanted to lock her up. Even though she's inherited such purity. Purer Valkyra blood than any other candidate. But bureaucrats are always so blind to true potential. I was certainly shocked myself. I wouldn't have believed she harbored such destructive power if I hadn't seen it. Descendants of the Valkyra exhibit a reaction to Ragnite that unleashes a raw, explosive force. That azure glow only appears when the Ragnite's full power is being utilized. Like weaponized moonlight. No man-made weapon could ever compare. They truly are miracles of war. She may exhibit some difficult behavior now, but her performance will improve with appropriate calibration. It is a technician's job to ensure a tool works properly. She's still ultimately a living being. We can't expect a fully control. The more you have to fiddle with a machine, the more attached you tend to get. Though even that has its limits. Nicola and Chiara, those two chose poorly. Perhaps a bit of recalibration will set them straight. I'll be counting on you to handle the rest. Oh, and give my regards to Waltz. Yes, Doctor. Hmm. 
Hey there, pretty boy. I appreciate you handling that report. <laughs> A little birdie told me you used to be with the Edinburgh Army. I can sort of hear it in your voice, too. But you're not actually from Edinburgh, are you? I'm gonna say... Gallian? <laughs> yep, figured. You Gallians are pretty ballsy. So I gotta wonder why a guy like you would defect. I heard you even sent a spy over to their side. And a femme fatale at that. Am I right? <sighs> to think, a gloomy guy like you seducing the enemy's women. I didn't know you had it in you. That's not it. Oh, come on. Don't be shy. We're both red-blooded men here. She's my sister. Uh-huh. My sister was aboard the Centurion. What? My god, man! Why didn't you say something sooner? How are you this calm? If your sister was on that ship, she's dead. <sighs> Oh, I get it. I had a feeling. Yes. I believe the Centurion has not sunk. My gut told me that too. They're tougher than they look. So did your spy, well, your sister, tell you that? No, I haven't contacted her. But I'm still receiving a signal from her transceiver. She wouldn't take it into battle, so it must be in her room. That's working. It means the ship hasn't flooded. The hull may not even be ruptured. So you still don't know if she's safe? God, man. I'm praying for you. Spy or not, she's an enemy soldier. You may have been shooting at her on that battlefield. I can see why you would pray. Well, you know. You and me, we're buddies now. I'm not your buddy. Too bad. We're fighting for each other's lives. Like it or not, I'm the only friend you've got. <laughs> but hey, the Centurion hasn't sunk. I know. Plans are already in motion. bottom of a deep crevasse in the crystal sea. Words can't describe the shock and joy we felt. The Centurion buried in ice, but intact. It turns out, the Winter Witch's attack had not been fatal after all, merely grazing the deck. To avoid further damage, the captain had ordered the crew to make it look like the ship had been sunk. So they brought the ship down, into the depths of a nearby crevasse. The captain's resourceful thinking saved the Centurion. Unfortunately, the witch's attack has disabled the engine. Until it's back up and running, we're stuck in the chasm. All we can do is sit here and freeze. We made it back to the Centurion safe and sound, but it looks like there's only more despair ahead. <laughs>